Oh, for games with no title screen, John. Oh, for the, the games that just dump you right in. Uh, do you do you recognize what we're looking I, at I here? I recognize definitely what we're playing. <sighs> oh, yes! I'm so psyched because we're looking at Heat Signature. Again. Uh, again, and I'm Jeff. I'm John. Uh, do you know why we're looking at Heat Signature? Uh, I think I do. So last week, uh, this week has been like the one-year anniversary of Heat Signature. Yes. And there were seven days of like updates that happened to the game that really change a lot of the different ways that the game is put together. And of course, because I'm a fucking boner for Heat Signature, yeah, I think it was one of our rage selectors that uh, tweeted at uh, yeah. me and you and mm-hmm. a couple of other people uh, to tell us about these updates in case we were not aware, yep. which I was not aware, but um, clearly you were. I am, and I've been playing them kind of to the detriment of everything else in my life. Um, so anyway, there was a bunch of updates, and I feel like it's worth talking or at least, at least yeah, looking at them. Uh, the very first update that you can see is actually uh, on the right-hand side of the screen where you see a thing that says traits. Right, so the individual characters now have traits. So, this person has shaky. So, you know, uh, their 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 shots from their guns are not exactly totally on target all the time. Like this person is a technophobe. Each time you use a gadget, there's a fifty percent chance that it'll break. Uh, this one is tough. Takes twice as long to bleed out. This one. Uh, this is a character that I've actually already just finished with. I'll just uh, here. I'll I'll uh, retire them real fast. They don't have anything. Select no item. Um, but basically every time, so like you'll get a combination of both positive and negative traits. Like this one is any lethal damage kills you, no chance to rescue yourself with your pod, but your 2x is likely to find good items in crates, which is nice. So let's just pick a, uh, this is a character, it's got so many characters here that I've already beaten <laughs> this with. Can I just retire, retire them out of here? So no item, continue. Um, so this is one of the first things that happened was, okay, hey, here's somebody who's just straight up lucky, right? Uh, you also have people who have things like their personal mission is a way cheaper uh, or easier. Um, also, one of the new things that you'll see is that um, you have this other character here who I think you'll see if you go back to characters, you can choose this person has a daily challenge. This is a daily challenge person where they will have a certain number of missions that you have to do and then you get a score for that. And then the way that the balance is there is that these people have um, like better equipment that you can buy, but the more you buy, the lower your score is. So it's basically just like kind of a challenge run. But let's just go with, uh, oh no, not this one. The one was just lucky. Um, so that's one of the first things. One of the second things that you'll see is uh, when you go into the shops now, uh, all the shops are listed. So you can just go through all the different shops and having instead of having to go to each single one of them, which, you know, that's not like the best thing in the world. It's just, um, you know, it's kind of a, a nice quality it's of convenient. life. Yeah. I'm going to pick up the Offworld Angel because that's always good to have. Um, next up, when you go to missions, uh, you'll see that there is... Oh, so I guess I already... This is the person's... Uh, their thing. Anyway, um, there are some new things that happen with different missions. So you don't normally see them on the um, you don't normally see them on on the smaller missions. When you start to get to the um, harder missions, you'll actually see uh, things like these um, alarm response. Now it used to be that if you sounded off the alarm, that uh, you know that the, the, the that the ship would try to get to a port and you had a limited amount of time. But now you actually have a thing where, like for this mission. You're trying to um, capture a person, and if you trigger an alarm, they will start to run for a teleporter to get off of the ship. Uh, and if that happens, you just instantly fail the mission. Like, there's no coming back from it. But you can actually do things like I set up a trap one time right at the teleporter, and it managed to knock out that person, then I was able to get them. You also have these new things, these contractors, okay. uh, which there are, I believe, four types. There's trackers, jammers. Uh, one's a, I think it's called a Predator, and then the other one is um, Defender, and they all, whenever you sound an alarm, these new, like, super units will teleport into the ship and start fucking shit up. Like, the tracker knows exactly where you are on the ship and will come towards you, and if they see you, they will instantly shoot you. Like, you cannot dodge their shots. They just, they have a supersonic rifle, and it just kills you immediately. Now, you can jam them, and you can set up traps for them, but you can't, like, just outfight them. Uh, jammers set up these jammers on ships that will basically make it so that none of your tech will actually work inside of the jammers uh, uh, field. Um, the ones that I hate the most are the uh, 
uh, the defenders because they basically have a shield on them and then they set up a shield on any of the other units that are around them, which so you have to kind of take them out first. This update, as I've been playing it, has been like really nice. Uh, it's really kind of breathed a lot of life back into this game. I feel like there was a, oh shit, I did not realize there was a person right there. Oh fuck. Um, this is a new thing where they show, the, there's a new guard AI oh. um, that basically, you have this that is up, this is the time until they shoot, and then as the this, um, as th these words are spelled out, when they get to the full word, then they'll s actually get an alarm. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can't just fucking, I got 60 seconds, this is not a huge ship. I'm gonna see if I can't just get through here um, before we get captured. Um, there's also some new guard uh, AI where like they're, if you're, if you, they hear a gunshot, um, if there's a gunshot, but it's not like close to the area where you are, you can actually get away with using a louder gun. Uh, so that's been reworked. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Like they already did an update that had like uh, the added the traps that you can use into the game, but like uh, part of the guard AI is you know how there used to be like just groups of guards, yeah, and um, you could basically just wait for them to come out one at a time, right? Now, if a certain number, like let's say that there was a group of five guards in this room, and one of them came out here and you knocked them out, and another one came out, you knocked them out, and the third one came out, you knocked them out. I feel like then the last two they won't come out; they just get question marks over their head, and they're like, oh we should probably not go. None of our friends have come back, <laughs> um, which is nice. There's also, um, what was the other thing? There's also a new a new thing where um, guards will now go in pairs to do stuff. Like a lot of times a guard will go to like a terminal to do a job. And a lot of times now they'll go in a pair where one of them keeps guard and then the other one does the thing. Uh, this is also a new thing where you can basically just start to fly the ship, hit T, it sends you back to whatever the latest outpost is, and then you don't actually have to like accelerate time. You can actually go do other stuff while the thing is flying back. So there we go. Got a, a, a thing. Um, liberations are largely similar where you basically you get these points and you can just unlock new, you know, as you unlock these different places, you get new. So here's like a grenade launcher, impact grenade launcher, uh, remote grenade launcher, we could do that. Um, but there actually now are types of missions where you basically just capture one of these outposts. So okay. instead of like capturing a person, you capture the outpost. Oh, that was actually another thing that's interesting is, um, so you see these different labels here, the soft target, the ghost, the enigma. Each one of these is like a different type of mission. Okay. So like um, the enigma missions are always like no survivors. Like nobody can know that you did this thing. Pacifist is like, don't harm anybody except for the target. Um, and it used to be that once you unlock these, that they were kind of sprinkled in throughout your, um, throughout the mission structure. And I think they might still be, let's see, hold on. Uh, when you go back in here, um, but if you just like prefer certain types of missions, you can actually just go and then um, you could just go and hang out at that one base and all you'll get are those types of missions. So uh, here's actually, this is an interesting one. I don't think I have enough. This is the one to lower the um, claws or lower the um, uh, the amount that it costs to get my personal mission, but it's got a bunch of jammer enemies. Let's see if I can, uh, if I have enough cash for a crash beam. There's a crash trap. How much do I have? 30 bucks. Fuck it. Let's try it. Let's try a trap. Let's see if I can do this. Um, oh, and they have. Are these guys armored? Yeah. God damn it. I can't. I can't do armor. Um, but yeah, as anybody who has watched this channel knows, I goddamn love this game, and um, this update has added just like so much more. Uh, it hasn't really like dramatically changed the way that you play the game, or it, not the the base mechanics, but what it has done is. Like they've set up, they the the developers realized that there were like ways that people were just playing the game over and over again in the exact same fashion, and so they basically tried to create um, ways. Okay, bam, shields off, knockout. Um, tried to create new kind of scenarios where. Uh, let's see, I want them to see me. Come on over here. Get that. Oh wait, you don't have a shield. 
should have just taken out. Um, new scenarios to kind of keep you from just doing the exact same thing over and over again, which I think is great. Oh, now you can actually see see these little hexagons on these guys. Um, this guy down here is a defender, and that means that any of the enemies that are near him have these like shields. So you actually have to like get rid of his shield and take this guy out in order to get these shields off of these guys or get them away from... Oh, wait. The fuck? Oh, this is a jammer. He actually set down some jammers over here. Uh, so I'm going to knock him out. Um, so, like, any tech doesn't now work in here because of this jammer. And I have to, like, literally walk up to this little thing and turn okay. it off in order for it to... to um, in order to be able to do anything. Oh, shit. This is bad. Ooh. Okay. So you can actually walk up to these, and you can hit E, and you just turn them off. Uh, but apparently, there's actually some other stuff that, that if you use um, the tech that they call a subverter on them, it'll actually make it so that the... the um, it has, like, a, a negative consequence to the people that are... The, that are being affected by it. Um, okay, so this guy is... Can I get him to walk across this? No, he's not going to do it. But Okay. Uh, because I can't get it, any access to this guy. But what I can do is I can put this trap here and then wait for him to walk out. And then when I get him, these guys' shields all go away. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just... There's something about this game... That really speaks to me, John. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we sometimes we get these games where it's like, you know, these aren't the, the best graphics in the world. Like, yeah. Um, but there's something about this particular kind of stealth plus, you know, kind of, um, uh, you know, sneaking and then kind of setting up traps and and all that kind of stuff that just I don't know it really like really does something. Kind of like me. Uh, with me and like Hand of Fate. Yeah, exactly. Like sometimes the the right game. Like I made a video. Uh, see, this guy just got a question mark, and that's because um, his friends are all gone, <laughs> uh, and he doesn't know why. But he's not going to leave where he is. So I'm going to wait for him to turn around and see if I can bonk him on the noggin. Um, yeah, something about it. I made a video where I talked about like I that I think that there's some value in the fact that this particular game does not have the best graphics in the world yeah. because it kind of lets you like I don't know make up your own story, right? You kind of think about what you know. You can kind of just inject yourself into here because the main character doesn't have like a voice and doesn't have you know um, something specific. Okay, where are you going? Um, that would. Oh shit! Nope. Okay. To, that, that would kind of exclude anybody from using their imagination to kind of uh, make up their own story. And I don't know. I, I still think that's very much true. Oh, you can also do... It's interesting. Uh, so these force fields here, like it used to be that if you shot these... I think I think this might be it. Oh, no. If you shoot the window, the window will blow out and you can actually blow people out into space. It's a, it's a way that you can get rid of like armored enemies if you don't have a an armor-piercing thing. Okay. Um, but one of the things that you can do now is you can actually use, I don't have any of them, a crash beam on, like, the doors. Or if you knock out one of those windows, you can use a crash beam on the um, the force field that comes up to uh, to basically knock it out and uh, uh, blow people out of space. So you can literally set up a trap by knocking out a window, and then when you knock it out, it becomes a force field, and then you can literally, if you can get people into that area, then you can knock down that force field to just blow them out into space instead of um, uh, dealing with them in any other way. So, all right. Uh, let's see if I can... We got, we got plenty of time here. Let me see if I can... I would like to see if I can get some of the more wackadoo stuff in the game. Um, it's an armor-piercing gun chargeable crash beam. I could really use one of those, but uh, there are a few things that still that still kind of get on my nerves with this game. Um, but none of them are too are too ridiculous. Uh, like, I like to just kind of go out and like find a ship like this one that doesn't have anything to do with a mission and then just go in and raid it to get cash. And the only way that you can really do that is still by kind of going out into the map and then just 
hitting the right mouse button a whole bunch of times in order to see if uh, you're anywhere near a person. See, these two are on, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, they've got wrenches. That's nice. Bonk. Um, let's see. Actually, I could just do this. Bonk him, bonk him, bonk him, bonk him. There we go. Bonk him. Unfortunately, nobody in this... I don't think there's any good loot in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Or is there? Nope. Um, one of the weird things that, like, the first character that I, I got when I started this back up was a character that had the shaky trait. Uh, and then that meant that, like, the best... Um, the best kind of combat solution for me was a shotgun. Uh, and so I ended up blowing up ships a lot more often <laughs> uh, because I ended up hitting the fuel tanks that are in some of the places. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I Also, the fact that all this is free. Oh, and you know, another thing that we should... I haven't done it yet, but we should try out before we finish up here is uh, um, there's gamepad support for the game now, uh, which there wasn't before. So you can actually technically play it with a, a 360 controller, uh, which I have, so... Uh, let's see what we got going on here. I would like to use my crash trap. I also didn't use uh, traps very much when I first started playing the game because um, I didn't really realize how interesting and powerful they were. Uh, is this guy going to go or is he just going to stay there? Nope, he's all freaked out now. Um, let's see here. Grab this. I don't know. I feel like um, space doesn't get enough doesn't get enough love these days, John. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I just don't. Yeah, you know, I want space to get love, but it just not to be like Halo. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got it. Oh shit. Um, subverter. Oh, do I have a subverter? Hell yeah. Shoot, shoot your guys. Shoot your friends. Gun. Oh shit. There you go. Blammo. Uh-oh. So, oh, okay, that was just the gun shooting more of the person's friends. Let's see what we got here. What am I trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to capture some guy on the other side of the ship. Fuck! All right. How are you liking uh, Hand of Fate 2, by the way? Uh, it's pretty good, especially uh, since I bought the Switch version. Okay. Uh, I've been playing that a lot. Okay. Switch because it's it works really well on the go. Yeah, I can see that. Oh fuck! All right. Uh oh. Yeah, Ooh. I think he saw you. Yeah. Well, th technically, it took me a while to realize that like you can hide behind these. Like this is all yeah. environmental stuff that you can hide behind. Uh, I just I really need to make sure that this guy doesn't see me because he'll turn on his shield and it'll become a weird like hide-and-seek thing. Uh, also, um, the entire economy in the game has been rebalanced. Oh, so okay. uh, you get, like, better things, and there's, like, a higher payout for, like, hard missions, um, which is nice because it allows you to... Oh, shit! Okay, well, there we go. Um, it allows you to basically get better things faster. There's also a bunch of new uh, Steam trading cards, I believe, that are based on, like, personal stories. Um... Like they're they're kind of they're called I think they're called like legends or something like that where it's like people who literally made videos of crazy shit happening in Heat Signature and sent them in and then they made a bunch of Steam trading cards based on that. Like there's one that's a story of where a person got caught by a guard, they had him dead to rights, the guard shot, but one of the people that had a teleporter teleported literally in between the person and the guard that shot, and they got killed, and then that set off this weird chain reaction of people shooting and uh oh fuck oh god damn it you died <laughs> yeah i subverted this turret and then it killed my target because i'm an idiot uh um oh your your target died yeah yeah um so uh yeah i have to use a subverter on some of the more crazy stuff i guess i can always just get some loot Ooh, quiet armor piercing rifle interesting i will hang on to that one um, because invariably the harder tier missions in the game have, um, and I think the uh, have uh, armored enemies. I think that the quiet part of this, 
uh, means that like when I'm in this area, if I shoot with the rifle, like these guys will hear it because they're in the same area, but anybody on the other side of the door will not hear it. Yeah. So it's like you can set off kind of a, a targeted alarm. Like let's just hear. Oh, okay. Nope. They didn't even get that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Oh, well. and then they shot me. Okay. Well, that's why I've got the off-world angel. Boop. Pull me back in. Um, all right. Well, you know what? I got a fair amount from from that. Let me... Uh, I, I like hanging out with the Enigmas. Got those missions where you get to kill everybody. I also spent a lot of time when I first played Heat Signature. Like, ever since this update... I, I didn't like to ever kill anybody. Yeah. And now I'm like a trigger happy maniac. I, I, I don't know. I'm always killing people. Uh, this is actually a good set of things. Let's see if we can find the one to. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so this one is actually interesting because I get 199 bucks for uh, okay. doing it, which I think is way higher than even the top tier hard missions used to be because it costs like a, a hun like 200 credits to. Um, it costs 200 credits to get to unlock your character's mission, right? Yeah. Um, and I feel like you couldn't get that all in one go. Uh, but this is, everybody in here is armored. This is going to be a real loud mission. Let me just see. Uh, okay, 24 seconds to escape from the target. There's a tracker. There's a defender. And there's a lot of guards, and they've all got armor on. Well, John, what could go wrong? I mean, you know. Nothing. Nothing. It's foolproof. Probably, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> I love this plan. I'm happy to be part of it. Um, hey, at least I've got no witnesses. I just have to make sure to uh, to try to not set the alarm off right away. I really could use a slipstream. Uh, wait, do I have a slipstream? No, I do not. Probably going to get killed right away. No, maybe. Let's see. Let's just uh, start by mowing down these guys. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, uh, well, damn it. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Do how many seconds? 12 seconds? 14. Okay, but see, like, this is 15 seconds until the target disappears? Oh, no, wait. This is 15 seconds until I die. All right. Well, fuck it. Yep. Yeah. N nothing can go wrong. Yep. Nothing Absolutely. can go wrong. Nothing. How could anything go wrong? I, d I ask you. I ask you and I tells you. I'm just not, I'm actually really not used to this type of gun. I really wish that they had a, a shotgun, like a quiet, a silenced, armor piercing shotgun. Ignores armor, but it's loud. This one is quiet, but it's got a really rapid fire. I want something different. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see if we can get another. Enigma Claws, alarm response, none. Yeah, this one will work. This one will work. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got shields. I might have to like leave and come back a few times, but I do like the fact that you can now, if you if you get a really a really difficult mission, you get really big rewards from doing it. Oh, this is perfect because it's off world. Okay, because all they only ever use non lethal. Um, oh shit, <laughs> they only ever use non lethal uh, methods. So, um, so I wonder what happens with this guy. Uh, fuck it. Oh, shit. Ha ha. I'm in my, I'm in my place. There we go. But I'm, but, but, shit. I really don't need to be using an armor piercing gun on these guys that don't have armor, do I? Probably not, but, you know. Uh, okay. Well, that used up almost all of my subverter. Do you guys have any? Oh, see, now these guys have, I think this is new. It's called Lifelink. So if you kill any of these guys, then the person with the um, uh, with the connection knows they're dead, and they will come immediately to see what's going on. Oh, also, do you see this this little um, this little thing? Yeah. That's a hunter. Uh, they'll they'll come up pretty soon. We can actually see what they look like. Um, you know what? Uh, I want to use the wrench on the hunter. So this is a hunter. Now, um, if they oh, if this hunter opens this door, actually, you know what? Look. I need around here. Uh, if this hunter gets within sight of me, like I said, they will instantly shoot, and I will instantly get killed. Um, the only way to really get around that is you got to crash them, um, and then you can knock them out. Uh, otherwise, they're a real fucking pain in the ass. Uh, now, one of the things that I actually really like quite a bit is 
I really become enamored with the new traps because you can kind of can get the guys to chase you. Hey, fuck face. Uh, fuck face. Oh, God damn it. Um, you can just have them walk over those traps. Okay. This one, long range visitor. Let's send that back. Um, let's see. I can get some guys to come up here briefly. You know what? I'm going to have to do the thing that I don't want to do. You're going to do it. <sighs> do it. Do it. I'm going to try. I have to go around the ship and go to the other side. No, it's just the subverter. Because everyone on that ship has a shield, uh, the subverter that I've got only has five charges, but the charges refill when I go back to the base. So all I'm going to do is just like go back to the base and then just go right back. Oh, you know what? Actually, what was the payout on that? 181? Okay. I've got enough that I can afford uh, to trade in my wrench for a concussion hammer. There we go. Okay. Um. So yeah. Oop. <laughs> do you just like slam into their? Yeah. Hall? Yeah. You can do that. You just bong, bong. It doesn't do anything. Uh. But apparently there was some change in the way that the uh, uh, the way that that worked. Let's see. Can I? Hey guys, what's up? You follow me around here? Hey, I'm over here now. Uh oh. What happened? Your shield went down. Bam. Ah uh, yes. Walk through that. Walk through the thing. I actually have found that instead of going back and forth to like recharge like what I just did, a lot of times I could just put down one trap and then just like speed up time until everybody walks through it one time. Um. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. I really need to find out a more cost-efficient way to get rid of these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got a key cloner, don't I? There's three. Oh, shit. Uh, there's four. Can I get close enough for four? Yes, I can. What am I doing? Stealing stuff. Uh, oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, 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 nope. And then can I get my crash trap back? No? Hey, guys, I'm over here. Whoa. Check that out. Check that out. What happened? No, I'm right here. Oh, fuck. These guys are coming down. Ah, damn it, John. What are you going to do, Jeff? I'm going to crash their shields. And then I'm going to blam them. I'm going to blam them. Uh, I only got one of these left, but I can get both of those guys with one. And then if I pick my this little crash trap back up, set that down. I like the acid trap as well because that lets you, um, it takes away the armor for enemies. Come on. Ah, shit. They're all freaked out now. Hey, buddy. Hey. Psst. Hey. Psst. I kind of wish there was like a, uh, like the equivalent of like a rock that you could throw in this game to like get guards' attention. Oh, god damn it. Hey, your friend has got smacked with a hammer. Your friend got smacked with a hammer. What are you going to do? Are you going to come after me? Come on, crash trap. Come on, crash trap. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. What'd you pick up? Uh, it's just armor piercing rounds. Uh, let's see. What do I got here? Do I have a... I got a visitor, but I don't have a... Crash trap, emergency shield. I just get down through here. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, this doesn't seem like it's very good. Oh, which one is it? That one? Okay. Fortunately, as I said before, the... Uh, AI for these ships, they just knock you out and then throw you out. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to worry about um, uh, about dying. Oop, oop. Damn it. Get close, Angel. Wee. Okay. I'm going to go just grab myself a, a quick recharge here. And then hopefully we can get through here and. Uh, do the personal mission for this character. In any case, um, Heat Signature is still like $20 on Steam. And I think that uh, that, that is a, a, a steal. A steal. Yeah. yeah. Like for the amount. I played this game, like, you know, because Steam keeps track of how much you play a game. 48 hours I've played 
uh, heat signature, which, you know, I've gotten less value out of plenty of other games. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Also, I feel like I'm encountering more because, and it may just be because there are more um, people on my Steam list, but like one of the things that you get in this game is, um, uh, oh, fuck. I think I got life linked. Okay. Um, uh, other people's games, like the people that re the heroes that retire out of your friends, the people on your friends list games, like you will encounter them as characters. And now you, I, I believe this is new, will encounter them as like rescue targets. Like you've got to rescue so and so from like one of your Steam friends lists games who got captured by blah blah blah. Um, oops, shit. Okay, well, one way to do it. Chunking you out the. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't um, got any lucky finds in any of these chests. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! If you stay too long in there, it'll uh, they'll start shooting at your pod. Just destroy the shit out of you. Hey, buddy! Oh wait, where's my? Let's bring this back. Crash trap. Oop! Oh, did I do it? Wait, where is it? Did I not do it? No, it's there. Oh, oh it's there. Okay. All right. Run over it. You're just standing on top of it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I really need to get by these a-holes. Most of them don't have shields anymore, actually. See, maybe I can do some subversion on these motherfuckers. Get two of them at a time. And then maybe sit down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This crash trap. Oh, fuck. Uh, all right. That's one way to do it, I suppose. Maybe. They turned around. Yeah. Uh, I need this. I like the fact that you could teleport those traps back, and then you just put them right back down. Hey, what's up? Bam. A trap pack. What did you have? Uh, just a crash beam. Um, okay, what am I looking at here? I got the these guys, these guys, these guys. I'm assuming you have to get the key that that guy has or something. Yeah, I don't have to because I have a long range key cloner. Uh, fuck, the shields on the ship suck ass. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, you might be able to... It's my subverter to get a bunch of them at once. Can you guys all go in that room, please? <laughs> That's fun. I've never well done, done that before. <laughs> What's that? It said, well done. Yeah, thank you. Uh, maybe I should put this thing in my inventory here. It's just... This is a... Oh, nope. God damn it. I... Nope, I didn't get it. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. I forgot I had a gun. <laughs> I kind of wish that there was like an armor-piercing uh, gun, almost. Or like a, a shield-piercing gun yeah. that you could use. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these two. I could just make a run for it, I suppose. You could. They don't ever like. They can't shoot me. Oh wait. <laughs> I say as they shoot. Famous last words, Jeff. <laughs> they can never shoot me, John. <laughs> How could that ever be a thing that happens? Uh, but at least now the pilot's there. The whole ship is just listing to one side. Uh, let's see. Can I go back in that window? No, can't dock with that window. Some of there's a there's some still some jankiness like oh, fuck, about getting hooked up to the ship. Um, oh boy, uh, let's see here. Fuck! God damn it! Son of a uh, bee sting! All right, Get back in. I'm just gonna go refill my subverter again. At least you know. 
all this it, it does it is cool though that like you can do a bunch of small runs or you can do like one big complicated run and then like the the financial rewards will be good because i much prefer kind of working my way through one level as opposed to you know just just um a million like individual missions you don't have a shield anymore oh but your friend does okay you get knocked out that's my crash trap at you walk through that i like how far the uh impact hammer sends them reeling oh shit god damn it motherfucker turn on turn on turn on yeah all right Take out these two with one beam. All right, Joe, we're getting close. All right, Jeff. What do you think? Am I going to be able to do it? Eh, you know, 50, 50? to be seeing. Let's see. Oh, there's eight. Am I stealing that over there? Okay. Wait for these guys to go back sneak around behind him. Then we're going to use the tech that I haven't used yet. The high capacity visitor. I'm going to visit. Grab this trap. <clears throat> uh, fucking fuck. How far does my visitor go? Not far enough. <clears throat> uh, you guys aren't coming over here, are you? Why are you coming over here? That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing over here. There's like... There's like a gas tank. Oh, God damn it. You missed the other guy, huh? Yep, 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 yep. And he's not. Yep. Oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. But his, his buddies are not going to be happy about that. I guess there's only three of them. I guess if I put a uh, trap down here, I could probably get one of them to walk through. Boy, your friends suck at this. Oh, yeah, they're all freaked out now. Hey, guys. Guys! Guys! Oh, that one's got a gun. What about you? you come down here. Bro, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh, god damn it! God damn it! And now he's gonna space you. Yep. My favorite, one of my favorite things is when you get, when you use a, a visitor to jump up near somebody and then they pick you up and then the visitor will always teleport you back after a certain number of time, certain amount of time. Um, so they will be in the midst of carrying you to dump you into space and then you just disappear out of their arms and they're like, what? I don't know. The stuff that you could do in this game, I like it. All right, so let's just finish this motherfucker. Get him out of the way. Over here, should have enough to get down to here now. Boop, boop. And then I should be able to visit. Oh man, I don't know if you can do it. Let's see, we'll find out. Ooh. And I got the canopus contraption. Now, visitor out and boosh. All right, so now we got to do is get the fudge out of here. Oh, God damn it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. In fact, you know what? I'm not even going to do the thing. I'm going to just go down here and jump out into space. Oh, wait, there's a window. And grab myself before my oxygen runs out. Boop. All right, we did it. Yeah. It only took like 20 minutes <laughs> uh okay so um yeah i i don't know i guess i feel like that's probably enough we've seen some of the new units we've seen some of the new stuff um you know i think it's totally worth um uh, i think it's totally worth zero dollars if you already have um um uh, all the updates are, are a welcomed update. Right. Oh, shit. There was a bonus. That I, could, I didn't get my No Living Witnesses bonus, so I didn't get, like, half of the pay. Oh. So there were 20 Living Witnesses, and uh, I fucked it all up. In any case, that is uh, this Heat Signature update. I'm loving it. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I think this game is the bee's knees, the cat's meow. Uh, oh, shit. You yes. know what you should have done? What's that? You should have gone with Plan Jeff. Uh, you know what? I oh fuck! 
See, this is why you want the lucky person is all of these. Whoa, this one's even from somebody else's game. This is the yo-yo time thingy uh, from, what did it say? Previously owned by SpongeBob, Sponge Brain Games characters, Meridian. Uh, so this is when you have the um, uh, the self-charging, yeah. it's, it's the best because it means that uh, you can basically just like, um, you just keep using it over and over and over again. It's like what you're shooting for. And when the when the lucky tab is on that person and they say they get good chest drops, that's what they're talking about. Is when you buy the overpriced loot boxes from the store, they tend to get uh, better um, uh, self-charging equipment, which is just like the best. So here we go, slipstream, bam, 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 bam. Slipstream that up, shit up. Uh, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, Hit the like you. and subscribe button. Uh, John and I will have a podcast up later today. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to write questions into our podcast, mailerragesite.com. It's not something you should do all the time. Yep, pretty much. Ain't no reason not to. Um, what are you afraid? We're going to answer your questions? Yeah, I mean, seriously. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, what? What happened? Why is this guy? Oh, he was just, I hit him so hard he was flying back in slow motion. Um, so as you can see, once you get something like a, I like slip streams a lot, and I like the impact hammer a lot, and for this one where nobody has any shields or armor, I mean, just like, fuck, dude. That's it. We're done. D got the whole ship. No casualties. Gonna get the personal mission intel. It's good to go. Patreon.com forward slash rage select is where you can go to kick us some bucks if you would like to help us out. Uh... I would like to say to everybody that if, you, uh, if you're if you interested in Heat Signature, I actually made a video that's called Jeff Loves Heat Signature, where I ramble on for about an hour about why I like Heat Signature so much. So, you know, if this 40 minutes hasn't been enough for you, there's a whole other hour worth of me talking about how much I think that this little space-ass game is just like yeah. the funnest as all fuck. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Bye? <laughs>